Yo, what's going on guys? So today I'm going to be bringing you a video on how to spot these good entries, right? How to spot these high probability trades, uh, what to look for, when to take profit, etc. So the strategy that we're going to be using uh, is the swing failure pattern. I'm sure you've heard of that in our premium discord if you are in our premium discord. And the indicator that we're going to be using is none other than easy algo. First link in the description to get easy algo for yourself and join our discord. So I'm just going to be showing you some recent trades. I have not taken all of these trades, uh, but I did take a few of these trades, uh, including including this trade right here. So I want to show you guys how you can spot these entries. And I actually mimicked these exact trades that I would take uh, here on, on the chart, right? And one thing you'll notice about all of these trades is that the risk to reward is huge you know a majority of the time you're risking you know not so much for you know uh, an 11 risk to reward ratio so uh, it's truly amazing the strategy and you know if you have a even a decent win rate using this strategy the results are going to be pretty insane right because you're risking so little uh, for those huge gains so how are users able to you know time these tops perfectly and the reason i only did did shorts right here not that you can't take longs but the overall trend of the market is going down so i'm not really looking for longs but as you can see you know this would have been a good swing failure pattern for a long and probably would have would have been a, a great trade right you know back up to this resistance level a nice you know eight to one risk to reward but most of the trades are going to be taking with the strategy uh have a risk to reward ratio that is similar so let me go and show you guys back test a little bit some of the trades you could you could have taken so first things first you know this 21k level is a huge resistance level so when price comes up to this level if i go to the one hour if price comes up anywhere near this level right anywhere near this level there's a huge dem demand zone right here uh, if i get my rectangle out there's a huge huge demand zone right around here so anytime price comes close to this area i'm looking for shorts i'm not going to be looking for longs uh, on, a, on a smaller time frame like the 15 minute and just for the sake of this video we're gonna be, we're gonna pretend like we're taking the trades on the 15 minute time frame so what you're doing is number one you're waiting for price to come to a resistance level on easy algo now easy algo has these levels identified for you uh, as you can see it's in here in the settings right we have this automatic support and resistance level um, that is very clearly identified so when price comes to this level uh, you know you know what to look for and the second thing you're going to look for is a swing failure pattern and a swing failure pattern is a failure of a level so you know this has been a huge resistance level right in the past as soon as you see price start to come up to this level uh and and the candles start to retrace you know that the bulls cannot reclaim this level and that price is going to go down uh leaving this long candle wick so as soon as you see this candle wick you know start to retrace you would enter your short there with a very tight stop loss right like a very tight stop loss and then you know move to break even honestly as soon as possible right so as soon as you're in a little bit of profit move the stop loss to break even and that's what's so great about the strategy you might have five ten break even trades but you know those two to three winning trades will set you up so this would have been a perfect short right we came right to resistance we got that swing failure pattern the candlestick was not pushing past uh the sellers were pushing price down leaving this wick as soon as you start to see that retrace at a resistance level you're going to enter a short there and you know what happens price comes down now where do you take profit there's a couple of places you can take profit uh first place being the next support level which would be you know right around here um so you could have taken profit right around there but i would recommend is wait for a more clearly defined swing failure pattern such as down here right we came back down to this support level down here uh, and we had a clear swing failure pattern we had multiple candlesticks right they couldn't get past this level uh, it kept rejecting so as soon as you would have saw that you know that last candle start to retrace uh, that's when you should probably get out right uh, so that was a nice 11 risk to reward ratio same thing happens on this trade we come back up to that same resistance level we get an initial rejection from this level uh, with a swing failure pattern right price is rejecting the candlestick is retracing we're going to enter that short and you know take profit at the support level right a nice 4.5 to 1 risk to reward ratio so pretty insane gains right no matter what dollar amount you're trading no matter what leverage i mean if you throw in a hundred dollars on a hundred x leverage we have some professional traders that only use a hundred x leverage uh, and compound their accounts right not recommending that you should do that 
but you know if you threw in a hundred dollars on a hundred x leverage you know you're risking thirty dollars to make uh, what 150 right make 150 so kind of do the math yourself with some of these trades again right we come up to this level probably would have entered this first swing failure pattern right at around here uh, and maybe got stopped out right probably would have gotten stopped out um, you know lost a small amount or maybe it was a break-even trade um, but as soon as you see this candle all the way up here right start to retrace we're still at that resistance level right uh, so that would have been a good spot to enter a short and you know maybe you enter right at around here um, so your risk to reward is is still like a nine risk to reward um, and that actually came back down further but you know for the sake of this video we're gonna say or right here there's a swing failure pattern right here um, you know initial rejection off this area comes back initial rejection as soon as you see this candle start to retracing you'd probably get out and we're also at a little bit of a support level so you know almost a 10 risk to reward ratio like i said you could have taken a long down here um but you know the overall trend is going down so we're not going to take that right here we have another swing failure pattern right uh i believe this would have been a losing trade all right i believe or at least a break even this would this would have definitely been a break even trade or a small loss uh, I don't think you would have you would have gained anything on that trade unless you entered right here, which would have been pretty difficult uh, to time. Uh, so that probably would have been a break-even trade. And this was a trade I was looking at for a long time, right? This 21.8 level, 21.7 level was acting as huge huge resistance in the past, uh, and I knew we were going to go down as soon as. Uh, as soon as I saw this on the 15 minute, right, we had this huge candle retracement, right? Buyers could not push the price past this level. Um, I did not enter on this one, right? I did not enter on this because this was not a swing failure pattern, right? This was not a swing failure pattern. Uh, momentum was still moving up, right? We saw a little uh, rejection, but that's not a swing failure pattern in my opinion, right? I think I entered right at around here on this trade. Um, so, you know, we came up, right? We're still moving up. Uh, we, we get to the 21.8 level. We reject. Next candle, you know, we reject and it's a lower high, right? It's a lower high. It's a higher low, higher high, uh, lower high right here. So buyers cannot push price past this level. As soon as I saw this candle start to retrace, I said, yep, that's going down. And I think I took this short and exited at this support level right at around here. Okay, so that was a nice, you know, four... 0.2 to 1 risk to reward um, again you know you can take some of these longs down here um, you know if you just bought at support and sold back up at this resistance uh, but for the sake of this video we're only going to be doing those high probability trades right you're waiting for price to come to uh, a level that is identified on a higher time frame because this level right here this 21k level uh, is a resistance on pretty much all the higher time frames, right? So I look at the one hour first. Okay, this is a big resistance level. We're coming right up to it on the 15 minute. And you know, you can actually enter even on the five or the one minute to get that perfect entry. Um, but honestly, a, a 15 minute entry is totally fine, right? So same thing here. Came back up to this resistance level. All right, I'm looking for shorts. I'm not looking for longs at a resistance level. We see the swing failure pattern, right? Buyers could not push the price past this level. And as soon as I saw that, right, we haven't, we could not close over, uh, you know, this 21.4 level. That gives me confirmation. All right, we're going down. Uh, and that was another, you know, beautiful 11 to 1 risk to reward and you know take profit at the next swing failure pattern which would probably probably be right around here i guess i did take this long because this was an easy long right we came back down to the support level um with a clear swing failure pattern right clear swing failure pattern with take profit at the next resistance level another you know 12.3 to 1 risk to reward and then do the same thing the other direction right came up swing failure pattern drops to the support level eight to one risk to reward um so you can kind of go in and back test this right uh, you see right here, we, we did have this buy signal, but we're right at this underside test of this wick down here. This level right at around here, right, had acted as previous support in the past, uh, previous resistance, and, you know, we rejected from this level. As soon as I saw that, right, that gives me confirmation we're going into a short. And, you know, you could maybe take profit right at around here uh, on, on this swing failure pattern, uh, maybe right around here. If you kept holding, it would have gone down more, but... I probably would have gotten out right at around here myself. So that was still, you know, a three to one risk to reward. And you can kind of go and back test this yourself with easy algo and the support and resistance levels. We have one user who 
uses a strategy on Forex a lot. And I've been getting a ton of questions, you know, does this work on, on crypto? And it works on any asset, right? The principles are the same. You're waiting for price to come to a level, watching for a failure of that level, and then entering with a tight stop loss and you take profit at either the next support or resistance level or the next swing failure pattern. And that's how we are seeing these huge gains with a with an extremely high risk to reward ratio, right? You're risking such a small amount uh, to make you know 10 times that in some cases. So uh, it's a really incredible strategy. And honestly, if you're a beginner, I'd solely focus on this, right? That's what I would recommend for for beginners to to learn swing failure patterns and you know definitely get easy algo if you don't have it already. Um, so you have these levels identified and you know where to take longs, where to take shorts, et cetera, et cetera. If you also want to follow one of our users, Rob, who has turned $500 into 55 grand in a day, right? Compounding his account, of course. Uh, he's gonna be posting his trades, his option signals real time in the VIP Discord starting July 1st. So if you're looking for, uh, you know, you know, pretty much a, it's a handout, right? You're following this guy's trades. You're gonna be learning from him why he's entering. Uh, what he's seeing on the chart, etc. So you can learn how to do it for yourself, as well as following his trades to get started, then make sure to join the VIP Discord in Patreon starting July 1st, okay? Starting July 1st. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something. Leave a like on the video if you have. Subscribe to the channel for more trading content. But that's it for me. I'll catch you guys next video.